Hey there guys, I have for you here the Husqvarna 13 inch curb handle hatchet. Um, now, interesting thing is, let's give it a measurement. So on the Amazon, it says it's 13 inches. If we measure it from the top of the axe head, right here, it's actually 15. Uh, if you measure from the bottom, it's about 12 and 3 quarters. So I'm not sure how they measured it, but I guess they must have measured it from the bottom. Or they must have miswritten the title. Um, let's measure the axe head itself. From the pole to the cutting edge, 6 inches. The length of the cutting edge is 3 and a quarter. Let's get the weight. Two pounds, three ounces. Um, so, pretty heavy for a little axe, but uh, for a little hatchet, but a uh, really nice feel to it. Um, and we'll do a little chop test with it. Now, let me talk a little bit about the features here. So, Sesos Garna has their maker's sign. Maker's sign also stamped out on the on the axe head. It says hand forged, made in Sweden. Really nice steel, very comparable to the uh, Grand Force Brook axes. Made in Sweden as well, like those, but a lot cheaper. So, a good idea to uh, go with one of these if you want to save some money. On the back here, uh, it says Hickory. Um, just says not to hit the back of the axe pole, axe head here with uh, another sledgehammer or something, and then not, not to use for uh, hitting stakes, but you could probably do that carefully if it was a wooden stake or something. The reason they say that is they don't want this to uh, spread out from the force and then come off. Now, in terms of the grain, I love this. Check this out. Look how tight that grain is on there. And uh, it's vertical or, you know, it's parallel with uh, the axe head. So you want that because that prevents um, snapping and breaking when you're hitting really hard here. That, that grain gives you a lot more strength than if it was like this. Okay. Um, has a really nice wide entrance here. I mean, you can see that piece of wood going through there. That's really wide and strong. That's going to stay strong for a long time even with a lot of abuse. Um, over here we have a wooden wedge and we have a metal uh, wedge also. Um, pretty nicely made. Has a little bit of cracking on the edges but that's not a big deal. Um, it also mushrooms out pretty well. Let me do that. Mushrooms out pretty well so it's going to stay really tight on there. Okay. So there we go. Now the edge of course I've uh, kind of polished it up. I've also reprofiled it a little bit and I've put a nice edge on it. It didn't come as sharp but, I mean, there's um, a lot of people online now showing you how to do this. And uh, thanks to Wrangler Star, who I watched, uh, his channel, he did a lot of good, gave me a lot of good information about how to sharpen an axe. And also, I started looking into Husqvarna axes because of his channel and what, he's, what I've learned from, from him. So check his channel out for uh, axes and such. He's got a lot of really good information. Um, so there we go. You, it's, it's pretty simple to put an edge on an axe. You just need a couple sandstones and... Um, a little bit of knowledge and you can do it yourself. Okay, so the handle, there's nice taper here on the back and uh, that just feels really nice in the hand. You know, if you take a, if you take your hand and squish a piece of clay, it'll make a kind of a, a cone shaped similar to this. Now it's not tapered out this way, just actually very, very slightly tapered out this way. Um, and they do that to save wood, but it's still tapered out or widened out here on the back, so it just feels really nice on the hand. And we'll go chop with this and see how it performs. Um, now, in terms of the edge, after I put that edge on there, let's see how it cuts. I have a magazine that's been laying out here for a little bit. Um, it's kind of moist now, but let's see if this thing will, can cut. I'd say that's pretty sharp. And we'll see how that cuts after we chop with it a little bit. Now, the little sheet they have on here is pretty horrible. I do not like it at all. First of all, you can remove it. That, that was even after an adjustment here with re this little piece and making it shorter to try to make it tighter. Um, and it still comes off ridiculously easy. That's just unacceptable. The other thing, there's no welt in here. Um, and so these rivets, they go all the way through and they go right up to the blade. So if you have the blade in here and you hit that, those rivets will cut into the blade. Now some think, well, okay, this is a harder steel than this or, or whatever. This is brass. It shouldn't. Well, when this came to me in the mail, it had a chip in it from one of these uh, rivet so that's just horrible plus it doesn't hold on there I mean this is junk so that's going out to the garbage or somewhere um, and I have this handmade one from my dad so check that out this is way better okay first of all it has a nice welt 
It's cowhide. It's about um, an eighth of an inch thick cowhide, raw cowhide, hand sewn, hand stitched. Um, has nice rivets on the edges to support that. So the inside, also you can see that welt. Well, you can't really see it really well on the video probably, but basically the blade of the axe is never gonna is never going to cut into the uh, strand until it cuts through the leather. I mean, that's going to take quite a bit of force to get it through that leather. And plus, the rivets are not going to touch the edge either. So that's really nice. Um, and then, it's formed to this axe head specifically. So you can see when that goes in there, it's like a glove. And without even clipping that on, that stays on there. It's just really well formed and really easy to pull out and put back in. Um, and then it has this nice strap with a snap to hold on. And I'd say that that looks pretty beautiful right there. So if you guys want one of these, send me a message. There might be a link also for them online. Um, if you're interested, let me know and we can arrange something. Let's go chop some wood. So uh, let's put our hand on this tree here. Uh, we've kind of tried to thin out, thin out some of the forest here. And this tree is uh, too close to the other one. So here we go. Let's do a little chopping. See how fast I can chop this tree down. Um, let me get some of these branches out of the way first. You can see that chops pretty nicely. All right, here we go. There we go. I'm slightly winded, but I think I did a pretty good chopping job. Yeah, you have a paper? Nope. You guys can see how smoothly that's chopping through stuff there. With ease, I'd say. Now, I'll do a little uh, cutting test here after we've chopped a little, a little bit with that and see if it still has an edge. Soggy newspapers, still cutting. Um, I'd say that that's a nice steel. I mean, it's not the hardest wood, but after not chopping through a tree and chopping with your branches, it's still sharp as a razor, shaving sharp. So there you have the Husqvarna, um, 15 inch uh, curved handle hatchet. Thumbs up if you like my videos and if you like the reviews and uh, ask any questions. And uh, we'll be in touch later. Enjoy the channel and enjoy the outdoors. Praise God.